everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Kelly. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any more awesome videos that come in the future. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, guys. Today, I'm actually doing like a tech review, and I'm only doing it because I like to buy affordable accessories for my camera. If you don't know, I use a Nikon D5600. I actually put everything down in the description box of what I use. So then that way, any new beginners on YouTube would definitely get that new, or you can get the most cost affordable thing for recording uh, YouTube videos. But today I am doing a review on this new mic that I got. It is the Hackstar SGC598. And this is actually 20, it says 2567. I have my notebook right here if you see me looking down. But it says 2567 on Amazon. You can say $26, but I just like to round it down to $25. <laughs> I think it's a really good external microphone. I've been using it now for like the past two days, so I haven't had much use with it. But with using it, I do like it a lot. So we're going to get right into the review. If you are interested in this video, continue watching. So this mic here is actually not that bad. It's pretty sturdy. Um, it has a plastic body. And then there's a cold shoe at the bottom. If you want to know the difference between the cold shoe, comment that down below because I just found that out as well. And I don't mind sharing it if you have any questions about it. But there's a cold shoe down at the bottom. This is metal, but the rest of the body of this is metal and the actual mic is metal. And then the rest of the body of the microphone is plastic but it's a hard plastic i think it's very durable it also has a rubber band suspension mount back in the back it also comes with extra rubber bands as well if you need it this is used to keep the mic still as possible to keep any um vibration or movement sound out of the mic um at the bottom where the cold shoe is now I wasn't as, as smart as I am now, <laughs> two days ago when I got this mount, and I was so upset because I thought it didn't fit, but you actually unscrew this dial here, it lifts up and allows you to slide it into the hot shoe mount, so that way it actually fits, and you can dial it back down to tighten it around and keep it there from here on out. Um, other than that, we can go to the dials on the side of the camera. So of course you have the on and off switch. Once it comes on, it's a little, little dim light here showing that the battery is well charged and it actually takes an external double A battery. So it's not rechargeable, but the battery um, from the reviews that I've watched personally, they said it lasts a long time. I've been using, like I said, two days and it's still green and I've been using it a long time because I record my videos and then my girlfriend Paris records her videos and then we edit everything but you have to remember with this though it does have that on and off switch so it will suck if you have this connected to your camera which i did yesterday and don't turn it on so then it's not picking up any sound because you have the mic um you have the mic plugged in so the camera thinks it's picking up from the mic up top but the mic is not on so it's not picking up any sound which really really sucks about that so just remember if you do get this always turn this switch on all right so next we have the um the it to turn it up 10 decibel switch you can have it at zero or you can turn it up 10 decibels this pretty much helps with if you're further away from the camera that it picks up as best as possible now the only thing that sucks with that is if you're further away and you turn this 10 decibel switch up it's going to also pick up the noise around the microphone. This mic is a cardioid microphone, which means it picks up sound from the front and the sides, and it tries to reduce or retract or not take any sound from the bag. So if you're picking it, if you have it in front of you and you're doing an interview and you have to turn it up because the camera is further away, it's going to pick up the sounds, more of the sounds on the side, um, but it does actually help with the volume of the mic and it picks up your voice better you are just going to hear that little grainy noise on the side from the camera that's something that you can actually reduce in uh, uh, your video editing process but if you don't want to i would just suggest to keep the camera not as close as possible i would probably say four to five feet away from you to give you as much or as best quality as possible next is the low cut high pass switch here 
this is kind of like the extra 10 decibels where what or well no this kind of will help that where if you have to turn that up this low cut or high pass switch is going to black out any excess or excess noise so what happens is it'll black out any kind of wind or if you bump the mic or when you're talking in the mic and you get those uh like B's or P's where you hear the wind that actually stops that and that B's or P's are kind of when you're using it as a boom mic when it's up over you compared to when it's in front of you um, but it does help with that and it makes your sound as smooth as possible so you don't hear any of the extra wind or extra bumpiness in the sound lastly which i should have went over first is the actual plug which i like about this is it has a 90 degree angle plug when you plug it into the camera so what happens you can just plug it in and it lays there compared to a lot of other microphones you plug it in it pulls the cord up with this cord already facing up it saves you a lot of other damage that could happen to this cord which keeps it and helps it actually I would say last a little bit longer but without any further ado we're going to go ahead and get right into the test of the microphone we're going to do a little inside and a little outside and then once I review the sound we'll come and do our final review on the mic this is a test of the in-camera mic compared to the Techstar microphone. This is a test of the in-camera mic versus the Techstar microphone. This is a test of the in-camera mic versus the Techstar microphone. This is a test of the in-camera mic versus the Techstar microphone. This is a test of the in-camera mic versus the Techstar microphone. This is a test of the in-camera mic versus the Techstar microphone. <laughs> 